Hey there guys, how's it going? This is Vishnaik back again with a new video. So in this video, we are going to dig deeper into the concept of augmented reality. Now we have already spoken about augmented reality very briefly in our previous video. But in today's video, we are going to dig a little more into the augmented reality concepts and we are also going to look at some of the devices that uses augmented reality and also its applications. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Now, we already did understand the definition of augmented reality in our previous video. Uh, let me just rephrase it back to you guys just to refresh your memory. So, uh, augmented reality is nothing but adding uh, a computer generated 2D or 3D graphics into a real world. Now, to observe the change, we either require a handheld device, something like a cell phone, iPad, or computer with a webcam, and a handheld device, otherwise a handheld device like HoloLens, Microsoft HoloLens, which looks something like this, and a Meta 2. Now, first let's discuss about the cell phones. Now, cell phones and all these devices, they are basically equipped with the technology of camera, GPS sensor, accelerometer, sensors, compass, CPU, GPU, and RAM. So therefore, uh, run all these augmented reality applications. Because augmented reality applications do require all those uh, features being in a device. So any device, not just your cell phone, any device which has all those features, they can definitely run uh, the application on that device. All right, now talking about the Microsoft HoloLens, definitely even this device has all those features installed in, in this uh, mainframe, in this work frame. So if we look at Microsoft HoloLens, let's just first understand what this actually does. Now what it does is, according to the definition, it basically produces a holograph in front of your lens, in front of your lens, giving you a 3D experience, holographic image experience. So what it's basically doing is, it's again doing the same thing, but uh, the functioning is a little different because it's projecting, it's kind of projecting uh, the 3D uh, image, the holograph of 3D image in front of the lens, which is being observed later by the user. Uh, yeah, so that's how uh, the HoloLens work. And also talking about Mira 2, this, it's almost similar to the uh, function, functioning of uh, HoloLens. Now, as you can see over here, a holographic image is created and something like this is created and the user is able to pursue or uh, visualize whatever he sees over here which is being added to the real surrounding. All right, so that's how your HoloLens works. So there are cameras in front of the HoloLens. If you can see there are camera, there's a camera over here. So this camera will first scan the 3D surrounding and then it will generate a 2D, 3D design object or asset, whatever was inside the application and it will project it out in front of the lens which is later observed by the user over here, right? Quite a fun thing, quite quite a lot, uh, quite amazing, quite fantastic thing to experience. And uh, all right, so that is all about our devices. And uh, now let's talk about the technology that's being used uh, to run uh, run all these applications. I've already talked about it. It's the camera. Your device is supposed to have a camera. It's supposed to have a GPS sensor, accelerometer, compass, a good amount of GPU, CPU, and RAM. Now, camera is going to go ahead and, uh, you know, scan your surroundings, scan the object, scan the marker, scan the place. GPS sensor is used to track those objects. And uh, your accelerometer is tracking the head, the movement of the head, the movement of the eye, and uh, uh, any specified head, neck, muscle movement. All, all of those stuff is being observed and, and tracked by our accelerometer sensor. And then you need a compass and CPU, GPU, and RAM. 
All right, so that's about the technology uh, you should be having in your device in order to run an augmented reality application. Now let's talk about different types of augmented reality. Now, there are four different types of augmented reality. Uh, the first one being the marker-based augmented reality. Now, I've already done a search on marker-based augmented reality for this class. So these are a few examples of marker-based augmented reality. Now, let me try to explain this up for you. So basically what uh, it does is, let me take an example of this third image. So as you can see on the table, there is a marker image in front of the camera. So what the user first he does is um, whenever this application was created, this marker was already fed uh, to the computer and it was told, the computer was told that, hey application, whenever you see this marker, you're supposed to display a house on top of that marker. So whether it be earth, whether it be space, whether it be moon, wherever this camera is going to see this marker, it's going to automatically generate this house on top of this marker. So that's how this marker technology works. And uh, you can see a few more examples of those marker technology. All right, so you can see there's a card over here. And on top of the card, you can see there's a bike, right? So it is told to our computer, whenever you see this card, this particular feature of card, like with this print and whatever is written on top of this card, you are supposed to display this bike image on top of that card, all right? So that is what the computer was told to do. And uh, that is exactly what the uh, computer is doing, uh, which is cell phone in this case, all right? Very good business model. A lot of people use this uh, in their day-to-day -day life. It's a powerful business strategy as well. And uh, it's been, it is being used everywhere in the market right now. So yeah, those are a few examples of marker-based technology. And also, yeah, we also spoke about it in our previous uh, video as well. Uh, the best example being the IKEA app. Yeah, augmented reality app. Now let's click on that. Yeah, so th this is our IKEA augmented reality app. Now you can see there's a sofa on inside the app and there is no sofa in uh, this surrounding. So what basically the user is doing, he's feeding the asset into his app and he's trying to check whether the sofa is matching with the surrounding or not. And if it matches, what he's gonna do is he's gonna go ahead and place an order for this IKEA sofa, which in turn, the IKEA people are gonna courier this sofa to his doorstep. So you can see quite a lot of examples. So also there's this sofa over here and placing a chair over here. Pretty useful, pretty useful. Even if you want to go ahead and uh, create some sort of uh, decorative architectural kind of stuff, uh, you know, placing objects or placing curtains or uh, things like that. We'll be talking about this in depth and I'll also show you how to do all of this. All right, so these are a few of the examples. Now we talked about marker-based augmented reality. Now the next we are going to talk about is marker-less based augmented reality. So let me just type over here marker-less based augmented reality. Now in markerless based augmented reality, definitely you can see this was the example of markerless based augmented reality. Here in this application, the GPS is tracking the location and giving you the information about the coffee shop, the fashion shop, and a lot of shop and whatnot. All this information is being tracked using the GPS tracker of your cell phone. So whenever this application was made, data was fed into this application telling that uh, this particular pinpoint location is the fashion store, this particular location is the coffee shop, and also to display and give reviews about those places. So whenever the user would walk through the street, he can scan those places and he would get all the detail about that place. Yeah, so that's marker-less based technology. And also our Pokemon Go is a marker-less based augmented reality technology where you have to travel to places in the city where you find Pokemon 
GPS is being used to track the Pokemon. And then you can throw your Pokeball and capture your favorite Pokemon. All right, so that's a few examples. Those are the few examples of markerless based augmented technology. Now let's talk about projection based augmented reality. All right, so we already did speak about projection based. The best examples are Microsoft HoloLens and Meta 2, right? So we have already covered this up. So let's move further. Now the fourth type of augmented reality is superimposition based augmented reality. Superimposition based augmented reality. So basically in this uh, technology, what it does is it basically scans your surrounding, scans the object and different places. For example, you can take the example of this hand over here. It's scanning the hand and whenever you turn on the application, the application is told to display the uh, cell phone screen on top of the hand and you can actually operate uh, all the functions of the cell phone uh, on top of your hand. So that's a pretty nice example of superimposition based augmented reality. There's also, it's also being used in many industries, especially in the uh, watch manufacturing industry. Let me see, let me try to find out some example of superimposition based watch. Okay, let me just go ahead and type over here. Because I know one example of Rolex, Rolex luxury watches, they are using this technology. So basically what this uh, is doing is you can see there's no uh, watch on top of the hand. So whenever you're turning on the uh, phone or iPad, you can go ahead and scan your hand. And uh, what uh, your device is doing is it will first go ahead and scan your hand and accordingly he'll choose the type of watch will, which will be suited to your wrist, uh, to your wrist type. And you can go ahead and choose a different type of uh, watches by clicking up and down. And whichever watch you like the most, you can go ahead and place an order. Maybe show it to your store manager and he'll definitely go ahead and help you out selecting the, that watch. Uh, and you can purchase, be happy and take it home. A uh, lot of examples you can see. A lot of examples given over here. So that is uh, the that is the best example I can give for superimposition based augmented reality. Now these are the four types of different augmented reality technology, and yeah, I think uh, that is all for today's video. And hope you uh, learned a lot uh, from these two videos. From and uh, hope to see you in our next video. Uh, stay along, stay along because uh, it's going to be a joy ride and there's a lot to cover and I'll be tackling all of this technology in depth in our future videos. Alright, thank you for watching. You have a great day. Bye-bye.